and let's get started with some questions over here we get started with question number 1 and uh, let us read this question first this question says x limited currently sells 12000 units every year at sales price of rupees 100 per unit currently all sales are made in cash variable costs are 60% of sales and fixed costs are rupees 120000 per annum it is proposed that the company should start extending credit by offering credit of one month with this new policy the overall sales will increase by 25% from the current level cost of funds to the company is 16% per annum it is expected that bad debts will arise at 2% of total sales should the company implement this proposal of offering credit period of one month so this is the question this is the example in front of you and now you have to analyze this whole situation so let us begin our analysis one by one so we start with the current sales quantity it is 12,000 units what is something good happening if you start providing credit of one month where currently you are not providing any credit at all so the first benefit is sales will increase by 25% so what you now do is 25% of 12,000 units will be basically 3,000 units that means presently if you are selling 12,000 units with the proposed policy you will be able to sell 3,000 additional units on top of these 12,000 units so your proposed sales volume would be 12,000 plus 3000 that will be 15000 units now if you are having possibility of selling 15000 units each unit you are selling for rupees 100 so your proposed sales value will be 15000 multiplied by this 100 and 15000 into 100 will give you 15 lakhs of sales at present whereas at current level you are selling only 12,000 units at the rate of rupees 100 per unit so currently your sales will be rupees 12 lakhs so that talks about your sales let us come to the cost component given that variable cost are 60 percent of sales sale price is 100 and variable cost is 60 percent of sales that means each unit has a variable cost of 60 percent of rupees 100 that is rupees 60 per unit so you can immediately compute 60 per unit multiplied by 12,000 units would give you 7,20,000 as your variable cost incurred at present and 60% that is rupees 60 per unit multiplied by 15,000 units under proposed volume so 60 multiplied by 15,000 it will be 9 lakhs as your variable cost and that will be under the proposed policy let me remind you one thing the nature of variable cost variable cost will vary with sales if sales are increasing the variable cost will definitely vary accordingly further your fixed cost whether it is present column or proposed column fixed cost will not change it will remain 120000 in both the cases now we have considered all this information notice one thing they have given cost of funds to the company 16 percent per annum that means if the company is blocking any amount of its funds in these receivables its cost is not free company is incurring cost of 16 percent 16 percent of what amount 16 percent of the amount of funds blocked if it is 16 percent of amount of funds blocked you need to understand how would you determine the amount of funds blocked so notice one thing if your sales are proposed to be 15,000 units why 15,000 because 12,000 units current sales volume plus 25 percent will make it 15,000 units so let us make calculations 15,000 units multiplied by rupees 60 per unit that will give you variable cost so I am also doing that calculation 15,000 multiplied by 60 would give you variable cost of 9 lakhs to that you add your total fixed cost of 1 lakh 20 thousand so 1 lakh 20 thousand will be your total fixed cost so variable cost and fixed cost taken together it comes to 
टेन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दैट विल बी योर टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड फॉर द एंटायर ईयर नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग यू आर ऑफरिंग अ क्रेडिट पीरियड ऑफ वन मंथ इफ यू आर ऑफरिंग अ क्रेडिट पीरियड ऑफ वन मंथ वॉट विल हैपन यू विल फाइंड दैट योर मनी इज गेटिंग ब्लॉक्ड फॉर वन मंथ देर फोर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल योर कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड विच इज अपियरिंग टू बी टेन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फॉर द एंटायर ईयर यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर मंथ वेन यू कन्वर्ट दैट कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर मंथ वॉट इज हैपनिंग आई एम स्टिल पिकिंग दैट फिगर फ्रॉम माई कैलकुलेटर इट इज टेन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व मंथ्स एंड वॉट आई गेट इज एटी फाइव थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स my monthly cost of goods sold is 85000 this money i am spending from my pocket if my customer doesn't pay for the goods immediately my money is getting blocked my money which is getting blocked for which i have to incur cost is not the money that i am supposed to receive from my customer but the money that i have blocked on these variable and fixed costs monthly this blockage is 85000 you can verify it other way other way okay let us talk other way if it is 15000 units which is the proposed volume or forget proposed volume we take 12000 units as the current sales volume it is basically annual sales volume right at present that is for 12 months your sale is 12000 units divide by 12 months you will get 1000 units as your current volume with the proposed policy of providing one month credit to your customer this volume will increase by 25% that is what the question says so you increase this volume by 25% so 1000 plus 25% will make it 1250 units every month now what is the variable cost per unit 60 multiply 60 to this you get 75000 rupees as your monthly variable cost now find monthly fixed cost look at this information your annual total fixed cost is 120000 for 12 months divided by 12 you will get 10000 as your monthly fixed cost 120000 divided by 12 months will give you 10000 as your monthly fixed cost aggregate of variable and fixed cost on a per month basis again comes to 85000 you calculate it anyway you will find that every month your money that is getting blocked is 85000 now how will be the pattern of collection in the first month you blocked 85000 correct that 85000 got blocked in the first month because you made sales on credit in the second month again you will spend cost of 85000 and that money will get blocked but the previous month sale proceeds will be collected in this month so that old 85000 is recovered but new 85000 gets blocked so throughout the year that 85000 remains blocked so now if 100 rupees remains blocked your cost will be 16% of 100 if 1000 rupees remains blocked your cost of funds will be 16% of 1000 here how much money is getting blocked 85000 so your cost of funds will be 16% of 85000 if i compute 16% of that it comes to rupees 13600 that 13600 that 13600 is my cost of funds blocked so what we will do is we will write up all these calculations one by one we will ensure one thing that there is no hurry there is no rush we will be taking our time to understand each and every calculation i have verbally explained you everything but when you write up that calculation and when you make that calculation on your calculators by your own efforts you will definitely have much better understanding and when these small small calculations by way of small small working notes when you write it in your notebook in your own hands your understanding will definitely be better so what happens basically when we talk about analysis of credit policy what we are finding as an example over here later you will find that suppose there is a situation where company is already making sales on credit and it is suppose providing one month credit now the proposal is to offer credit of two months that means you are going for extension of credit extension of credit 
means present policy one month credit proposed policy two months credit and then you just start you know analyzing that new policy by comparing the present and proposed situation and again same thing you work out sales you work out variable cost fixed cost you work out total cost of goods sold you work out the collection charges what you are incurring now and what you would incur at the proposed policy you work out the cost of funds blocked you work out the amount of bad debts and then find the net benefit if the proposed policy gives you more profit go with that that means one question is enough for any student to grab the concept and then deal with the remaining part of the chapter on their own but yes there are many concepts within this topic and we will therefore address each concept one by one right now our focus point is analysis of credit policy we have already discussed this example time for us to note down the solution for the same so let us see how to write up the solution for the same as part of your solution what you need to do is you just need to identify two segments that is present and proposed the credit period will be one month as proposed and presently there is no credit offered to the customer total sales will be rupees 12 lakhs and rupees 15 lakhs in present and proposed column and basically 12 lakhs and 15 lakhs how to get these amounts i have explained you already this 12 lakhs is basically currently sold 12000 units multiplied by rupees 100 This fifteen lakhs is basically fifteen thousand units multiplied by rupees hundred. Then what about your variable cost? Your total variable cost will be twelve thousand units multiplied by rupees sixty and fifteen thousand units multiplied by rupees sixty. Alternatively, whatever be the amount of sales, sixty percent of these sales will be your variable cost. Then comes your fixed cost, which will remain same in each case. That is one lakh twenty thousand. aggregate of variable and fixed cost will be cost of goods sold that is 8 lakh 40000 at present and 10 lakh 20000 in the proposed policy additional cost of collection there is no information given in this question with respect to cost of collection so you can just leave it blank now what about cost of funds blocked currently you don't have any fund blockage because at present your credit period is not existing you are not providing any goods on credit so currently your cost of collection is not there and your cost of funds blocked also does not arise in the proposed situation we have no information about cost of collection but there will be definitely cost of funds blocked just a few minutes back i have already explained you how to get this 13600 let me remind you when it is 10 lakh 20000 as annual cost of goods sold convert this into monthly cost of goods sold by dividing this by 12 you will get 85000 that 85000 has been spent from your pocket but the money has not been received so that money gets blocked in the first month whatever amount has got blocked out of that amount you are going to make collection in the next month so in the second month you will collect that earlier blockage of 85000 but again because you are making sales on credit new blockage of 85000 will arise again in the second month in the third month you will make collection for the second month sales but you will have new blockage of 85000 during the third month and that cycle goes on and on so if you carefully observe throughout the year your amount blocked remains 85000 on an average and 16% of 85000 that is your cost of funds blocked that is 13600 last component that we need to consider is bad debts currently there are no bad debts but in the proposed policy 2% of your total sales are given as expected bad debts total sales is 15 lakhs 2% of that will be 30000 and mind it here we are assuming that all your sales are on credit in the proposed column entire 15 lakhs of sales is made on credit because your fund blockage is considered on this entire sales and finally when we find that there are finally four components a b c d a is your sale proceeds or your revenue b c d are components of cost and losses so when you compute your net benefit it will be a minus b minus c minus d and that comes to 360000 at present 
and 4,36,400 in the proposed column. In spite of all these negative factors, our overall profit increases from 3,60,000 to 4,36,400. If I compare and check, I am finding that there is additional profit of 76,400 and the profit is increasing by 76,400 under the proposed policy. Therefore, we can finally take a decision that the proposed policy is worth implementing. So, let us move ahead and write up the remaining calculations over here. As a very very important working note, that will be working note number 1, cost of funds blocked. I have already explained you this point, funds blocked as proposed, it will be 1 by 12 of 10,20,000 that comes to rupees 85,000 and cost of funds blocked will be 16 percent of 85,000 that is 13,600 and then you can write up the final line of conclusion that accepting the proposal of one month credit increases the overall profit by rupees 76,400. The proposal is therefore worth accepting.